hello friends uh, in this video tutorial I will describe how to uh, go through the finite element analysis in a backus package so I will be uh, going through these modules like part property assembly step interaction load miss job all these things <coughs> uh, I will create this part and I will create these instances I will create a job submit it and you will learn how to do all these things and show the results <coughs> uh, all these things I will explain in a short while <coughs> at the end of this tutorial you will see uh, the results are like this S this is uh, may not this, this may not uh, look like a very real thing but this is problem with the uh, finite element analysis you have to try hit and try uh, with many analysis to get realistic results so let's start I have opened a backus 6 version 6.13 it is a backus C -E C -A -E. <coughs> So let's create a folder. Since Abacus, uh, while you do modeling in the Abacus, Abacus creates a number of files which I would like to save here in this folder. It is a healthy practice uh, to uh, save all those files in your in your folder rather than in a just random folder <coughs> so this folder is created let's copy this folders address and we will set work directory here so that I guess know where to create those files <coughs> okay so now let's start creating parts first I will create a part point to this part and double click it a window will open <coughs> I here uh, uh, the name can be anything whatever you like click on 3d deformable cell planner and approximate size let's do it too one thing very important you have to uh, keep in mind in uh, uh, in, in Abacus that Abacus doesn't know about the units it doesn't ask you about unit anywhere nowhere it asks so you have to take care of a unit yourself so be in a consistent way whether you are using SI units whether you are using metric units okay so now let's create a rectangle click on the rectangle tool and we have created a rectangle <coughs> I'm not dimensioning it I'm creating just a random uh, part I'm not uh, worrying about the dimensions because I am uh, in any way I am doing this for demo so you can use any dimension whatever you like <coughs> so sketch is done so click on the done and the product is created now look at this tray here the model name is is listed under that model and under this part you will when you will expand it you will see the part this 
part one we have named it part one and these things are also listed here model and parts so uh, <coughs> uh, here listed are modules so we are in right now in part modules <coughs> now uh, I will do one thing more you have uh, you might have uh, noticed that in, in uh, uh, snacks packets uh, which come in the market they have a seam uh, around the pack so I will create that I will do it by partitioning this model so I will click on tool partition I, I want to partition this face so click on the face <coughs> Uh, I want to sketch uh, the partition geometry so I have now see the masses is as as you click on the tools uh, masses will flash here and it is uh, it, 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 it is information it, it, it tells you what to do next what to do now so it says a select an edge or axis that will appear so let's select edge and now we have entered in sketcher mode <coughs> now let's sketch again I will click on the rectangle tool click here and then I will drag it to right here the partisan sketch is created now click done <coughs> So the the part we have created earlier has been partitioned. One thing I will tell you that uh, if you want to rotate it in a backus, you have to press Control Alt and then left mouse button. Keep keep pressed all these three and move your mouse. So it will rotate the model. Okay, let's uh, go through the next module, property module. <coughs> In property module, we will be introducing some materials. So click on material and then on manager. Click on create, <coughs> name material, whatever you want we will need uh, since I am doing this uh, dynamic analysis we will need three material properties <coughs> first is density so let's input density as 1200 I like to work in SI units uh, you may work in uh, metric units so I will really all uh, I will do all inputs by inputs in SI units so I have uh, inserted the density value I'm doing uh, random values you can do you can choose a material and get the properties from internet and then uh, insert it here so <coughs> click on the material mechanical elasticity and click on elastic because I want to uh, my, my, my material I assume that it is linear elastic so I clicked on the elastic put some Young's modulus I will put uh, <coughs> 200 E9 poison ratio 0.3 click on OK so we have created and material and material is listed in material manager okay dismiss it let's create a section because we need it name the section whatever you want since we have created a <coughs> sorry I got covered a little bit <coughs> Uh, we have created a cell 
so let's uh, create a cell homogeneous click on continue it has cell thickness so uh, let's input cell thickness 0 0.0 let's say 5 it is basically 0 0.5 mm <coughs> a very uh, small thickness I have given <coughs> uh, choose material now uh, wherever you have created the material we have created material of material 1 so we will select it then click on ok so we have just created section now we have to assign it to the model <coughs> to the to the part so click on assign assign section now it says uh, select the reasons to be assigned section so I will select the reasons to select multiple reason you have to keep press shift and keep on clicking with the left mouse button and we have selected all the parts so now uh, click on done a window will appear <coughs> uh, it says uh, select section we have created section 1 earlier with the material 1 <coughs> and it says cell offset definition so uh, it, it basically is saying that it will move the thickness uh, keeping this part as a middle surface so click on ok so now as uh, the part has been assigned but uh, so this is a way we assign material to the part <coughs> so uh, as, as, as we have assigned the part of material its color changes it's a screen so we will continue this tutorial in the next video uh, keep tuned